Today I'm tailored with the Vivor Heli Coil Thread Repair Kit. So I do like seeing it actually comes with a case. So this is nice. So this is the metric and SAE version. I quite often find myself working with both styles. So it's very nice having a set like this where I have everything in one spot. So you can see they are labeled. This one is for an M12. We got an M10, M8, and M6. On the other side, got a half inch UNC, 7 16 3 8 5 16 and 1 quarter. We got a full assortment of the actual Healy coils. Looks like this one actually has our Allen. So that's going to be for adjusting the set screw on the collar. So if you want to make sure that your Healy coil is only going down to a certain depth, you can make sure that that is going to happen with this. It's going to work a lot like a stop collar for a drill. So you just set that wherever you want it and then lock that down. I'm going to keep that at the max height for right now. So one thing I can say that I appreciate about this set is that most of the time when I deal with Healy coil sets like this, I open the thing up and stuff is everywhere. With this set, everything actually was in its correct spot. And it's actually loose enough that I can still pull these things out without having to grab like a screwdriver to pry it out. So excellent case design. So here is our Healy coil. You can see we got that little pin sticking out on the bottom. That is going to be for that slot on the wrench. So that is going to be what actually drives this down into that hole. Whenever you get that driven down into the hole, you want to be able to pop that out. So this is going to be our punch. And you can see it is notched out right there. So whenever you put this punch in there and you push on that, that is going to completely snap that off so it won't be in the way. Now these need to have something to actually thread into. So that is going to be what this tap is for. So we can see this is a 12 by 1.75 high speed steel. So you're going to need to drill a hole for this tap, tap that hole with this tap, and then we can insert the Healy coil and we'll have the smaller thread on the inside. So that way if you completely wreck the threads or the same inner threading of this Healy coil, you'll be able to make a larger hole with larger size threads. Throw this in and then you'll have those threads restored. So here I have a threaded hole in a piece of plastic. I got a quarter 20 bolt and let's go ahead and drive that in. It is pretty common with plastic threading that it will just strip right out if you over torque it. Not a big deal, just worth keeping in mind. Now these threads are trashed. So we're going to take our kit, we're going to re-thread for quarter 20, so I'm going to use this drill, hopefully if I can get to it. And we're just going to re-drill. Okay, so now there are no threads in there. Then we're going to take the tap, and you're going to need a tap handle. And we are going to tap with this much larger size thread. Typically, you want to go all the way until you hit every single thread. And then you can start backing it back out. Now we can take our quarter 20 helicoil, or helical insert, whatever you want to call it. Drop that on the insertion tool and thread that in. Now a lot of people, and I've done this before, they'll stop when the helical is right there at the top flush with the surface. You don't want to do that. You actually want to go a couple extra threads in. Just because whenever that bolt starts pulling, you don't want it to pull the top of the helical out. Then we can use our punch and we can screw our quarter 20 bolt back in and that actually feels much better in a helical than it does in plastic. Now it is worth keeping in mind the outside of the helical is still grabbing onto plastic. It is grabbing onto slightly more plastic because it is a larger surface area. But you still can strip it out but that is going to hold much better than it would without that helical. So in my mind that's the best way to re-thread a thread that is damaged. So overall that is a very cool kit.